टुडे वी हैव विद अस वैशाली एंड वैशाली वांट टू टॉक अबाउट योर जर्नी फॉर कंसल्टिंग फॉर फॉर इंटरनेशनल ट्रिप एज वेल सो आई थिंक इंटरनेशनल ट्रिप इज मोर एक्साइटिंग टुवर्ड्स मी आई वांट टू हियर मोर स्टोरीज अबाउट दैट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दैट इज इट कंपलसरी दैट एवरीवन इन बोकनी हैव टू गो टू मिलान और यू कैन चूज टू गो नॉट टू गो सो यस कमिंग टू योर क्वेश्चन यस वी हैव दिस मैंडेटरी सेमेस्टर व्हिच इज व्हिच कंप्रेसेस ऑफ 4 मंथ्स and uh, it's mandatory for everyone so it starts from the month of september and ends by the end of uh, december so uh, honestly i mean this is the best time of, for the sab konisha center students to get this exposure about all the international frame and the um exposure to even network with different people all across the globe uh, to have international faculties have group projects with you and um, i think it makes your profile even more holistic in terms of what you want to pursue later because all the corporations that you go to or even if you want to uh, work for any corporation for the matter they look for um the exposure and the diversity that you have and the um knowledge that you gain through a global exposure correct see when i go for holiday even if i go for a one week holiday i come back as a changed or improved person you are there for 4 months of course there are a lot of improvements you have seen in your the way you work the way you talk So, what do you think were the main improvements you felt after coming back from there? I think uh, the cultural diversity just gives you a lot of boost, boost in terms of how you are proud as an Indian to have your part to be delivered in their country. So, uh, I think Indians are also perceived as very um, nods. Nods, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the nods <laughs> Indians. But uh, turns out that it's not just um, nods being uh, fun and um, living their lives in Milan, but I think we can. like learn a lot from each other in terms of cultural diversity in terms of how we work with each other because um like my fellow colleagues mentioned before um we learn through the group projects and to even we we party a lot with them because once the college gets over this is a very different culture in europe once the work gets over it it's a different party environment <laughs> altogether and yeah so you get that exposure you get to network with different people you help you hold these networks close to you and uh, yeah and some people also um, can tap into the international exposure in the sense that they can uh, look for global placements in bokoni milan so i think one of our students have also um, gotten a placement um, abroad so i think it all just sums together to have like a very holistic approach as to why milan should be um, Yeah. And can you choose your subjects there, or there, or there are fixed subjects you take? Yes. So the electives that um, you can actually you can get like a lot of uh, long listed electives that you can choose from. I chose four electives. Basically, everyone has to choose four electives. I chose business process management, management consulting, uh, digital transformation, and strategic marketing advance, along with two uh, other mandatory courses that you have to comply with. Okay. Great. And so I think that helps you get to consulting because your profile become more stronger. Um, uh, you can say something of that sort, uh, but yeah, I got some exposure in terms of um, getting a live project itself from the course that I did in business process management. Our professor actually uh, gave us an opportunity to work with Stellantis Group, and uh, we worked on the automobile sector in terms of EV vehicle stations and the. Uh, installations of the EV parking um, stations, and we worked on some really nice, actually, projects with um, again international students. Great. So all of them worked together internationally. And did 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 you travel a lot? Yes. So because <laughs> yes, not a lot. Milan is north, so, and then have you been to yeah. Roma? The Roma yes. the Central Station. Yes. Uh, so if you just go to Italy itself, if you consider Italy itself, you have a lot of places to go because the culture in terms of food variety and. Okay. Then you came back from Milan, and then consulting happened. So what are things you improve? Because uh, consulting means either you have good academic records or you have good work experience or you have good extracurricular activities. So, what do you think? Which was your major strength, which helped you get into consulting? Uh, apart from good academics, I can talk about the um, profile diversity that you build, and that happened to me in Esra Bukoni Asia Center. And I took up some three life projects in different domains: one in strategy, one in um, consulting, semi-consulting, I would say, because it was market research role uh, more focused. 
and then I also did some marketing um, and operational um, life projects. So uh, I think the diversity in terms of the domains that you pick up, because in consulting they don't just focus on one domain, right? So that that build up is very important to build your profile to showcase that you can work with any industry or to be even facing uh, knowledge centric in terms of different domains that you can help. And uh, in terms of extracurricular activities, I would say, um, I mean, it's always good to have something in your profile that would show that you're interesting <laughs> and um, that adds on to it. Uh, for me, I think my extracurriculars are uh, singing, gardening, and I play a lot of chess. I used to be a regional um, uh, state level singer, wow. but um, yeah, I mean, you have to trade off at one point. So that is my uh, situation right now. Trade off mean you're not following that thing. So that's more of a personal goal. Correct. Right. Professional. Right. Okay. So now company, when the company came on campus, so what kind of a process was it? Was the interview or there was a GD as well? Right. So I was in Milan actually when my process took place. Uh, I got placed in Zinov, Zinov Consulting, and uh, the process took place in two um, different modes. Uh, sorry, two levels. Uh, first was the uh, round with the managerial consultants, and that was a case-led round. It happened for it took place in one hour. Uh, oh, only. Online. Because you were in Milan. Right. And the next uh, interview was with the partner round, uh, which was also for an hour. And post that, we had a small HR round of selection. So through that, I got in. Superb. So yeah, your journey completed on a high note. And right. Concerning. right. So I, I think she is the best example of work hard and party harder. <laughs> how she party, we can't talk on the online. So we will take it offline. So. <laughs> So with her, so how you can enjoy there. So I think that's a complete MB all over. This is MB, and you will remember. Most of us will remember what we did outside the classroom more than what we did yeah, inside definitely. the classroom. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much.